and we welcome you to The Ferris Show on television. First tonight, we have finally found an honest man in Washington. One, it's worth celebrating these days. Robert Hur testified before Congress and managed to irritate both Republicans and Democrats, which is a unique feat these days. And one worth examining, just to briefly review, Robert Hur investigated then Vice President Biden's keeping of classified documents at his multiple homes and in multiple locations, including next to Biden's Corvette in his garage. Hur was appointed to as a special counsel and said Biden did it, but declined to prosecute. And in a report said, among other things, a jury would see Biden as, quote, a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. So no crime. His testimony today about the report before Congress did not disappoint. You were not born yesterday. You understood exactly what you were doing. It was a choice. You certainly didn't have to include that language. You made a choice. That was a political choice. It was the wrong choice. The fact that Joe Biden is so inept in responding that you can't prove the intent, which, again, I don't quibble with that conclusion, but it's frustrating to be like, oh, well, this guy's not getting treated the same way as Trump because the elevator's not going to the top floor, so we can't prove intent. I always leave it to Matt Gates. Special counsels used to be called independent counsels. And what's more independent than having both sides upset with you? Republicans took her to task for not charging the president. Democrats chastised him for noting Biden could remember basic facts, things like the year of his son's death or what a fax machine was called. The president forgot that one twice. Again, we found an honest man in Washington. George Wills here, News Nation senior political contributor, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist. Good to see you, sir, as always. Uh, Honest men are usually forgotten pretty quickly uh, and don't have much of a future. I feel like Mike Pence could write a book about that. Mr. Hur, it, it was an interesting case because he used to be in the public sector. He was a justice and others, but he's now in the private sector. And the stunning contrast between his polish, his demeanor, his precision, and the showboating by the his people interrogating him demonstrated the inherent and invariable superiority of the private sector to the public sector. Oh, it's, 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 it's amazing what a 15-time salary bump will do for you in the exactly private sector, right. whatever whatever job Mr. Herr will uh, depart Can to. Can you explain something to me? He was call, he called the president sympathetic, yep. well-meaning, elderly man with a memory problem. Which one of those are people disagreeing with? I think they're disagreeing with the very point that he put them in the report. But he had to. And our shift said yeah. that it was gratuitous. It wasn't gratuitous at all. He had to explain his decision, which was to decline to prosecute. He said he, he violated laws, but he had to project whether this would be a pointless to put this in front of a jury. And he said yes, because he was dealing with a well-meaning, sympathetic, et cetera. The last time that we heard from Robert Hur was in this report where he said all of these things that were quite upsetting to then President Biden. I was sitting on this set. It was about 7.15, 7.30. And for the first time in the Biden presidency, we got the email. The pool has been called back to the White House. The president is going to address the nation on some conceivably issue of national import. It turned out he was angry, visibly angry about the report. Take a listen. There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. And then we saw in President Biden's testimony today that, yes, he did remember the date when his son died. He, he brought it up himself. And then he did not, in fact, remember the year. Any day that is spent between now and the 5th of November talking about Mr. Biden's age is a bad day for Mr. Biden. He should drop the subject and he should not have gone out for that. that you, so you don't think we're going to see him tonight? <laughs> shouldn't. I mean, wh how much can he take of this talk about his age? He, he had his great moment in the State of the Union where shouting was, I guess, a sign of vitality. Enough with that. Talk about something, anything else. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven 
unbiased coverage.